What is structuration theory? Introduction. Anthony Giddens reconciles agency versus structure. In his theory of structuration, Giddens argues that sociologists should not see individual agency and larger social structures as opposed to one another. Instead, we should understand them as two sides of the same coin. Social action depends on the agency of individuals, but social action is also enabled and constrained by the rules and resources that make such action possible and understandable to others. Structure and Action Structural theories tend to be deterministic, seeing society as something objective, with a clear reality. On the other hand, action theories are voluntaristic, seeing society as the creation of its members. Both theories have some truth. For example, law regulates our behavior in an objective, measurable way, and protests can lead to social change. Given this, some sociologists have sought to combine structural and action theories into a single theory of structure and action. Giddens Structuration Theory According to Giddens, there is a duality of structure. Structure and action, agency in Giddens' terminology, are two sides of the same coin, with neither able to exist without the other. Through our actions, we reproduce structure, and we can also change it. This relationship is called structuration. Take language, for instance. Language is a structure, made up of rules, grammar, spelling, etc. These exist independently of anyone using the language. Using language means obeying and reinforcing its structure. However, action is also required, as without this, language would not have a user. Likewise, language changes, with new words being invented constantly. Reproduction of structures through agency Let's look at how structure and action are both important. For Giddens, structure has two elements. One, rules, norms, customs, laws, etc., and two, resources, economic, like raw materials, and power over others. Rules and resources can either be reproduced or changed through human action. However, they tend to be reproduced. This is for two reasons. Rules contain a stock of knowledge on how we live our lives, going to work, shopping, etc., involve applying these rules. Of course, we also use resources when shopping. So, just by going about our day, we reproduce structure. We also reproduce the existing structure because we have a deep need for ontological security, a sense of stability and predictability. Constant shifts in social structure would be, at best, unsettling. Change of structure through agency. However, we can also change social structure through our agency in two ways. We can reflexively monitor our actions. In late modernity, we are constantly reflecting on our lives and we can, as a result, choose a new course of action. This may explain changing patterns of marriage and family life, the decline of organized religion, and many other things. Our actions can change the world, but not always in an intentional way. For example, through work, the Calvinists wanted to glorify God, but they ended up creating modern capitalism. Evaluation of Giddens Giddens makes an important attempt to bridge structure and action theories, which many commentators agree have some merit. Giddens implies that actors can change structures by simply deciding to do so. However, for Archer, 1995, this underplays the capacity of structures, like slavery, to resist change. Likewise, for Crabe, structuration theory isn't really a theory at all as it doesn't describe what happens in society. Instead, it describes the kinds of things we'll find in a society. Actions, rules, resources, etc. Summary Giddens' structuration theory is a bridge between structural and action theories. We reproduce structures through our everyday actions, but can also change them by acting differently. Rather than making either individual agency or social structures the main object of analysis, Giddens states that sociologists should instead focus on shared social practices like eating, voting, child-rearing, punishment, etc. that necessarily involves elements of both individual and shared social structures.